kingdoms did. America has to go down in that same fashion. All right, because each time a kingdom is set up, the uh, wickedness uh, 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 spreads more and more, man. It gets worse every single time. Every single kingdom, it just gets worse, man. And uh, America is by far the worst kingdom. Why? Because our people didn't know who they was, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you completely forgot who you was. So we couldn't call on the Heavenly Father and the Son. We couldn't call on Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, man. That's why America was, is the worst kingdom, man. Because we forgot who we was. Which all of that was ordained anyway. All right? We got our culture beaten out of us, man. But y'all ain't talking about, oh, we, we spreading hate and all of this other stuff. Nah, man, hate, hey, hurt, hate, pursue with us, man. Okay? We was, we was being pursued by hate, man. And I'm gonna prove that even more as well. All right, but going back to the point, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. It says, their inward thought is that the houses shall continue forever in their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own name. Yeah, that's what he saw the so-called white man do. Okay? Africa. Leo Scipio Africanus. America. Amerigo Vespucci. Okay? They call the lands after their own names, man. All right? But that was the point on that. Let's get this back in the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. I'm going to read it again. It says, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord has indignation forever. Yeah, he saw the so-called white man, his whole generation, all his families are the border of wickedness, man. Okay? They're at the border of wickedness, man. They, <laughs> you had to, hey, man, you you got to do something real bad against the heavenly Father or His people for the Lord, for even the scriptures uh, to call you the border of wickedness, man. You the edge of wickedness, not in between. Now you the edge of wickedness, man. Okay, you so-called white people, because all y'all do is destroy, man. All you do is take down, man. Anything that's nice and perfect is set up in righteousness, okay. Anything that's set up perfectly, man. You so-called white people, y'all go out and y'all uh, pervert everything, man. All right? That's why you got uh, 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 cities of sex or cities of sin. Okay? That's why you got abominable. That's why people's out here eating abominable food. That's why the people are lesbians and, and homosexuals, man. Because what? This place is perverted, man. It's corrupt. That's why this place needs to be judged. Righteously judged. All right? Verse 5, it says, And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, The Lord Yahweh will be magnified from the border of Israel. Yes, yeah, so the Lord, who the world inwardly calls God, all right, he's going to be magnified from our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, because the Lord chose us to be the righteous people, you know? But that was the point on that. Let me get this. In the book of Ezekiel, this is Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 1. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, Set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Yeah, Mount Seir, man. All right? Mount Seir has also been found as a, a Petra, okay? Which, if I'm not mistaken, it's in uh, modern-day Turkey. All right, Mount Seir, when you, when you, when you look at a picture of a, a, a Petra, okay, a Mount Seir, it just looks like a, a, a bunch of rock formations, man. All right? Hey, don't you so-called white people like to call yourselves cavemen? Y'all originated from cavemen, right? Y'all did live in caves, man. Because none of the nations wanted you within their borders. 
okay? Ezekiel 35 and 2, it says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. All right, and the word prophesy means to tell beforehand. So we have to talk about the, uh, the destruction of America. We have to talk about the salvation of our people, okay? Just as we did in the days of old. Ezekiel 35 and 3, it says, And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Yeah, because the part of you so-called white people, any kingdom that y'all build up, the Lord got to throw down, man. Because yeah, what? Y'all go against the Mosul. What was that? You ain't never lie. You know what? I just got banned from the library for no reason. It's because I wanted to say something to the lady. Yeah. She said I was disrespectful. So every word I look at for these person names and go in different countries, I'm looking at all, but it all matched together. So I want to hear this. I want to hear, I want to hear this, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Continue, continue. I don't want to just... Nah, nah, you, you good, you good. Because, you, you know, you're playing out the time. These are all, all of these people right here, these is our people. Because, you know, Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we've been scattered. And we've been oppressed through that scattering. You know, we forgot who we was. You know, we got raped, robbed, and murdered. And all of those things, all of these atrocities. Well, I've been there and it's too. Nobody care about that, though. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm saying. That's a part of the atrocities. The man was 44, seven years old, Ku Klux Klan. And he dragged a young man that was 11 or 12 years old down three miles. Yep. With chains on his body. Yep. With no skin on him by the time y'all done dragged him for three miles. Yeah. Yeah, you three see? Three miles is yep. about 17,856 feet. Okay. Okay. That's equivalent to go from here to catch the top of Jeff Fudd and Jay-Z and Beyonce do. Hey, but, hey, but, but, that's, but that's the spirit, man. You know, that's all of those things that happen to our people, all right? And that's why I'm up here. I'm talking about the enemy. They have to, they have to receive their pain in that. The, day, the days is coming, man. That, yeah, that, hey, that's right, brother. That's right. The days is coming. You know, let's say it's the scriptures. You know, but I'm going to continue reading on for you. Let me you out, man. Yeah. Ezekiel 35 and 3, it says, And say unto it, talking about Mount Seir, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Yeah, yeah, the, the Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, who the world calls God in Christ, he's talking about uh, uh, Mount Seir, man. He's talking about the, the people of Mount Seir, the, the caveman, if you will, mm -hmm. you so-called white people. That's why we got to prophesy against you, because uh, the Lord said he's going to take you down, man, so we got to let you know, all right? Verse 4, Ezekiel 35 and 4. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Yeah, because the scriptures call the Most High the Lord of hosts, man. All right, that word host means army. Okay? As a matter of fact, because That's what of. We're going through right now. Huh? That's what we're going through right now. A war. That's right. It's, 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 the Russian army. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a, a literal war and a spiritual war going on within, this, uh, within the whole world right now, man, you know? But let me get this, proving that the Mosa, uh, he, he's a man of war, he is the Lord of hosts. This is Exodus. Exodus 34 and 5. Exodus 34 and 5. Exodus 34 all right, because you say God is all love, God is all about peace and things of that nature, which it's not wrong, but the Lord, he has emotions just like us, man. All right, this is Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. It says, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name, okay? And you say uh, only God can judge you. Hey, the, the Most High, he judges, the, the Most High should be the last one you want to judge you, man. He should be the last one you want to judge you. That's why the prophets is out. Because the Lord is about to make war. We have to tell about it before it happens. Or the people are going to get caught up in destruction, man. Okay? And for those of you who go around talk about some, oh, we ain't supposed to judge, we ain't supposed to judge. You don't even know what judge means, man. There's righteous judgment and then there's wicked judgment, man. The word judge means decision. All right? So before you people go... decision. I'll say what? Choice and decision. That, hey, that's right. That's ABC, right, brother. That's right. Or all the above. That's right. You know? That's right. And, and, and our Heavenly Father, who the world calls uh, a God in Christ, he judges righteously. That's why all of these, these, uh, these ancient empires and kingdoms, they had to get thrown down because they wasn't built in righteousness. You know? This is Ezekiel 35, verse 5. It says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood, of the children of Israel by force of the sword 
in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end, yeah, it says because thou, so because the people of Mount Seir, because Esau, Edom, has had a perpetual hatred, okay, against the children of Israel, and destroyed us by reason of the sword, okay, it says, therefore, verse 6, Ezekiel 35 and 6, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord's power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. If thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. All right? Because, again, people think we just coming out to, to, to talk shit, man. We not. Now we coming out. We're, we're judging righteously, man. All right? Hey, do you not people, do you people not believe in karma? You know, what goes around, comes around, or whatever the case is. These are the karma scriptures, man. Because we was in captivity, our oppressors have to go into captivity, man. They have to. And it's happened every single time. Anytime the children of Israel got oppressed, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans got uh, uh, oppressed and destroyed, all right? The Lord always went against the other empires, man. Always. It never failed. The Lord always threw these other empires down, man. All right? That's why the scriptures say, well, I'm going to read it again. Ezekiel 35 and 6. It says, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. All right, blood is going to pursue you. All right? All of the atrocities, all manner of uh, maliciousness, all right, that the so-called white people uh, have against uh, uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that has to come back unto you tenfold, hundredfold, thousandfold. Y'all got to get that back, man. All right? I don't know what you heard, man, but the Heavenly Father not playing. God, God, that's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, because this, hey, this book is for us, man. You know, this book, it, it, it was it was broken down to us the wrong way. Yeah, that's yeah. why a lot of people ain't, you know, they're not really feeling the Bible. Which, you know, they, I understand the reasonable yeah, doubt. They, 